Oh, hi. Hello there. Didn't uh, see it, didn't notice, didn't know you were here. Okay, well, this, this is a cool thing. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm about to do. I'm, I'm just uh, so sick and tired of being sick and tired. No, not really. No, I'm, I just love being sick and tired. <laughs> No, I think I'm tired of my uh, Nintendo Game Boy Advance. I think I'm going to take a classic console, I mean, a handheld console, and uh, I think I'm just going to mutilate it, just because I feel like it. Because I, I just like to destroy pieces of history. You know what I mean? Nah, that's what I think I'll do right now. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. It's destroyed. It's never gonna be the same again. This ancient retro Game Boy Advance. And it was in such fine condition. Oh, I'm so evil. I'm totally evil. And of course, I'm not like um, leading you on or anything. Because everything is always as it seems, right? I don't know. More than meets the eye. I don't really care, man. I'm, uh, I'm doing what it takes to enjoy my gear. If you can believe that, actually. Because, like, I tried something a minute ago when, the camp when you weren't here. And, um, yeah, this is going to be pretty neat. You see, uh, <laughs> um, you see what I did? Oh no, look, there's like a plastic thing and a plastic thing. Oh, but it's not there anymore. I don't know if ever, anybody else has ever done this. Probably somebody has. I don't know how well known of a technique this is, but, um, you know, I took my, uh, whatchamacallit, my, uh, uh, yeah, Xbox. This is an Xbox battery. I kind of put it up to this, like... Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> pretty neat, right? I think it's pretty neat, because I'm poor, and I like... And I also like to uh, recycle and save the planet. So rather than be stuck using either proprietary Nintendo battery packs, which I've never owned in my life, for all I know, they might not even exist. Um, yeah, I had to snap that little metal thing out and clip it onto the battery for it to actually work. But I was thinking about it, I was like, man, this would be badass. Uh, I was talking with Lothar III about, like, Xbox 360 controllers and whether or not, you know, you could use an Xbox One battery pack type adapter and, like, not really, because that little bar, I think, on the 360 is more, like, you know, completely different than what it is here. But I think this Game Boy Advance is totally going to have, like, battery capabilities Hopefully, either that or I'm going to look really dumb. Oh, no. Oh, it can't fit. It's okay. I got to trim a little bit. I got to mangle this. It was mint condition. Not anymore. No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't that mint. Trust me. It wasn't really that mint. I mean, it was in pretty damn good condition. I mean, shucks. Uh, better condition than it's in now, right? But I'm pretty careful. Like, look at that. See that that plastic, the way I'm, I'm breaking it and, like, removing it? That's a very careful uh, technique there. It isn't like I'm going to snap the whole case. I mean, this has my serial number, for goodness sakes. And you better not copy and use that. Because if I find out that my warranty's been used up by some bunghole, I'm going to be pretty upset. <laughs> Yeah, my warranty for my... For, yeah, I'm, I'm making a joke. Okay. Mm, oh, boy. Oh, oh, it's almost... Almost. 
Look at that, look at that. It's almost good enough. I gotta trim, whoa! Ah! Gotta trim it a little more. Yeah, this little corner right here has to go too. Gotta make it like pretty flush, it seems, with the, with the particular Xbox battery pack that I got. I wonder how far I could take this video. You know, like, believe it or not, I have another upgrade in mind for this little Game Boy Advance. Um, uh, is this an SP? No, not an SP. That's right. Yeah, those SPs, they were fucking nice, weren't they? I mean, they were cute, and they were little, and they folded up like clamshells, and... Yeah, they were pretty cute. I don't know. It's it's a really tough thing to decide uh, which Game Boy Advance you like better, right? Because it's like those clamshell SPs. They they got a glowy lit up screen. It's all like ooh, easy to see all the time. Whereas these here old these are first generation advances. Yeah, not so much, right? They're kind of like, uh, kind of dark. I mean, they're colorful, but they're kind of like dark, like an original Game Boy, right? Oh, man. Well, now that I got a battery pack hooked up, almost, let's see, is it going to fit? Is it going to fit? Ooh, cross your fingers. Oh, damn, I'm good. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's tight. It's so tight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what they say. Oh, oh, oh. It's so tight. It's not the Avengers gaming skills when he picks up the controller are so tight. He's got the maddest skills ever. The tightest skills, the bestest. All right, enough of that. I'm... Uh, I'm gonna stop bragging now for a minute and try my best. Here, I'm just curious about something. I wonder what would happen if I were to put that, that bar facing downwards. If that would like... Yeah, that's not gonna work, I don't think. But it would be nice to not have it sticking out like that. I could probably get the lid on better. Yeah, alright, screw it. Yeah, I'm totally satisfied with just leaving it like that and you know I, I'm not even quite sure what I did with the battery lid anyways so I'm probably gonna have to like put a rubber band on there or something all right but ever seen one of those Ooh, sleek oh it's kind of like oh, sorry about that I didn't want to gross you out that wasn't my goal that wasn't my objective. Like, come on now. <sighs> do I, do you really think I'm like that? I just didn't really think about it. I, I hadn't, like, picked this thing up in a while. I thought it was pretty clean from the last time. <sighs> I, like, found it and brought it in here so I could attempt to do this the next time I, like, got the balls and the energy and the focus and uh and uh now i even got a camera to document it oh boy there that's a lot better not quite as smudgy what the fuck is that is that a smudge why i oughta okay i'm pretty sure that's just like a, a scratch maybe i could like brush that out with like something Anyhow, I'm thinking this could work. I'm thinking it could. Like, let's have a let's have a look. See, um, it yeah yeah it totally is the same type of Goldfinger cable scenario. Yeah, man, it could totally fit. You know, how about how about we just do an experiment, okay? Like, th this adapter, this has, like, a couple of, uh, of those little flicky-dicky, flicky-flacky things that you can, like, <laughs> use to get your ribbon cable, um, 
unlodged? You know, I'm sure you probably got experience in this area if you play video games, right? I mean, how could you resist? Whether you went to school or, or just kind of figured out a hack them on your own or a little bit of both or <laughs> I don't know but if you if you play video games you probably know how to remove a ribbon cable right I think they're called ribbon cables I don't know oh I think I gotta lift it just a little more thought I had it good okay are we good are you gonna come out and play Hey, you got to keep them separated. <laughs> mm, um, come on. Okay, okay. Let me continue. I've never done this before, so I don't want to break it. No, not like I was just breaking the battery pack, uh, like casing, housing thing. No, I don't want to do that. That would be kind of a bad move, I think. Because then how would I get either of these displays to hook back up, right? Yeah, not, not going to be breaking that today. Fudge, this is not easy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think maybe there's like a line right here. Maybe if I like bring that out a little, that might help. Maybe, no, no, that has nothing to do with anything. I don't think. Well, it is definitely a, a gap, though. I thought it was just like a line or like a like a groove, like a grooved thing, if you will. Okay, okay. You know, this video is probably getting boring. I should probably just stop, right? This is some boring stuff, I bet. But I'm just wondering, what if I succeed? Would that still make it a boring video? Would it? Or would it be worth, like... Come on! What is up? I got these things fully... See, those things? Or wait. Those things. That, that brown thingy, Merbob. Boink! Uh, well, anyways, I can't get the focus. Oh, well. Whatever. I, I pretty much got it. Okay. I think I've got them, like, extended all the freaking way. Which means it, it, that this, uh, this thing holding the ribbon cable in place should be ready to, like, move and get out of my way. Right? That's what I would uh, expect at any rate. Um, come on. Oh, yeah, I think it's... Uh, well, you know, this thing is really old. <laughs> like, like, I got it used. And I got it used a long time ago. So, like, if that tells you anything... It's, it's pretty damn old, and uh, I guess the fact it, like, is still working and everything is, is, is kind of like luck, lucky, right? It's a lucky thing. Okay, that's the way it works. Okay, I was just making sure, because I don't want to fuck this thing up. <laughs> Excuse my language. Um, but, like, yeah, I wasn't quite sure if it would flip up or not. Apparently, it just loosens to the point where you can remove the ribbon cable like so. Okay. And now then, on with the show, right? Let's see what happens when I hook up my Game Boy SP. What happened to the Game Boy SP? Well, actually, I used to have one of those silver ones that was in really, really good condition. And I really don't know what happened to it. I think maybe I lost it? Like, you know, I've had a, a crazy life, I'm telling you. I could have lost it on the bus. Isn't that crazy? Or an ex-girlfriend could have stolen it. Or, I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I broke it and it was so traumatizing I, I forgot all about it. And, uh, I, or maybe I sold it and maybe I felt so guilty about it. 
Uh, once again, I blacked it out because uh, I just couldn't handle the emotional, you know, problems that that would cause if I actually had to live with that mistake. But I digress. Um, you know, it's like this particular Game Boy SP um, display came from a very broken Game Boy. It came from a broken home this Game Boy SP. Ah! And also, I gotta be a little more careful. This isn't easy. Uh, it came from a broken home, and it also had a, a very broken case, which actually left the Game Boy very broken. That's right. So, uh, yeah. Needless to say, um, it makes sense to make that Game Boy a donor, doesn't it? Isn't that a very thoughtful thing to do? Because then, then basically, it li gets to live on in a sense, I suppose. I don't know. I mean, like, I don't really believe... It. Well, you know, whatever. Video games are video games, and yeah, okay. It's good to... Yeah, okay. Fudge! How did this work? Okay, let me look, try and figure this a little more carefully. God, sometimes I think that I might actually have shaky hands, if you can believe that. I'm just making sure that this is, in fact, identical. It looks to be identical. Oh, you know what? What the hell's up with that? Ooh. This uh, Game Boy SP um, display, right, the Advance SP, it has an extra two gold fingers on this uh, connector. I'm not sure if I'm holding it well enough for you to notice, but um, maybe you can. You see, oh, yeah, it kind of overlaps over the side a little bit. About like two gold fingers. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. Seems like they might be important. I just don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I'm going to put a little more research into this one before I, I, I go ahead and start snipping off uh, anything. Or before I start uh, removing and replacing things. So, but before I go... <laughs> should I stay? No, I, I gotta go. But look, I'm going to put this back together real quick. Just so you can see... How neat it is to have a battery pack in your Game Boy Advance, I guess. Uh-oh. Dang it, I slid the freaking locks back down. Get up. Get up, you guys. Oh yeah, there's one other thing that was kind of tripping me out, having this thing open. If you, if you, you know, know what I mean. It's kind of trippy, I think, um, when I look and I see... What appears to be something like a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth antenna jack on the motherboard here, the logic board, right? I'm wondering to myself, I'm wondering, I don't remember ever having anything Bluetooth or wireless at all with my Game Boy experiences. I mean, with Game Boy Advance. Yeah, the wireless stuff didn't happen until the DS. I'm kind of curious, though, if, like, well, what the hell, man? I've heard that some people make uh, software. Oh, what the hell? I've made software with DevKit Pro or, like, you know, that, that DevKit Pro is pretty cool. You can make software for a Game Boy or a DS or a PSP for the most part. But, yeah, look at this. <laughs> Yeah, I think you can see right about there. Isn't that weird? It's like a little antenna. I think my DS antenna would actually... My 3DS, excuse me. 
I think my 3DS antenna, because that's broken too, and I gotta work up the nerve to fix that, which is pretty scary. Um, and no, I'm not breaking my consoles. I'm very, I'm very gentle and cautious. Trust me, these things just get worn out. It's not like I abuse them. But yeah, I was trying to hook up this pigtail, and it is uh, too large. That is like what I'd normally hook up to a Apple Mac, like air card kind of thing, maybe, or maybe just a regular old uh, MMCX uh, connector on an anything from a PCMCIA to uh, oh shucks, could be anything really. Knowing me, <laughs> all right. Anyhow. That's right, that's right. Pretty wild stuff, huh, people? Pretty wild, pretty wild. Wacky and wild. Just imagine how wild today would have been if, I, if like, we would have done this, what, like, 20 years ago? Like, when these were really, like, brand new freaking kind of console, like, little handhelds, you know? Real spiffy and junk. Like, uh, that would have been a pretty special day, right? Yeah, I, I never would have done that. It's like, wait, these were way too expensive to just, like, do that with. Are you kidding me? You'd have to be a total jackass to, like, buy one. <laughs> I'm just like, that would be a jack. Some people think I'm a jackass for doing this to a relatively good condition uh, retro uh, game system, right? Personally, I take the other stance. I'm like... You gotta be a jackass to do that to a brand new system. Give me a break. That's expensive, and that's a bad idea. And I don't care if you got a warranty. Like, uh, that's just irresponsible, man. Uh, I don't know, though. Whatever. It is what it is. It shouldn't stop anybody that wants to do those things. What the hell? Did I run down my battery? Did I run down my battery? Son of a bitch. All right, I'll check you later. It's such a beautiful day for playing video games outside in the sun where you need you can get light for free for your Game Boy Advance. Such a beautiful day. It actually is. I'm not even like joking. <laughs> yeah. Whoop. Pretty neat little little trick. I still hope I can get the uh, the SP screen wedged in there though. All right. I did. Okay. Mario what the? Oh, God. I did it again. Hitting the wrong buttons. Can't believe I wasted a pow block hit already. That's awesome. Whoa! I'm not very good at holding the phone with my chin. 
But I am good at kicking spinies. You know, that's what they call these uh, things with all the spikes. They call them spinies. Pretty sure. Pretty sure you got your laquitos. Those are the cloud flying guys with the fishing rods. And then you got your cheap cheeps. Those are the jumping fish. You got your uh, goombas. Those are the little angry looking dudes. And of course, you got your green Koopa Troopas and your red Koopa Troopas. What else? You got your shy guys. You got your, uh, of course, that didn't come to Super Mario 2. But, you know, I mean, it's Mario nonetheless, man. I got a shy guy on my Jeremy Klein skateboard. You got your Bob Oms. Um, I think they call that uh, Big Boss Mouse that wears the glasses. I think they call him Mouser. I think they do. It's kind of like supposed to sound like Mouser or Bowser, but Mouser. Like, kind of like that. I think that's it. I forget what the Frog King's name is and the, and the three-headed uh, serpent that's kind of like... Uh, I don't know. I guess it's kind of like a like a Cerberus, like a three-headed dog, but it's a snake. But then again, that could also be kind of like a Medusa head, but nah, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you got Wendy Koopa, <laughs> to, and of course, King Bowser Koopa. You're all right, right? Oh, you also have bloopers. Those are those uh, uh, squid-looking guys, you know, that swim around with the cheap cheeps underwater they don't really like fly out of the water you know like the cheeps do but down there in the with the coral and all that jazz all right i'm gonna go i'm a nerd yeah mario what about bullet bill though we can't end without talking about bullet bill the you know the all right all right and, and the canon actually has a name too you know